to say amen. Praise God. I'm so glad you came out to be with us all today. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you with a sincere heart, oh God. We ask you, God, to have mercy upon every man, every boy, every girl, and every child in the name of Jesus. We bind every demonic forces and evil spirit that come to hinder, amen, the service, oh God. We, we bind it in Jesus' name, Father. Let your will be done. We ask you to save everywhere, all over the universe, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you for the sick, the shut in. Amen. We thank you for everybody, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Welcome. My name is Stevie Lancaster. Amen. And I am the pastor of the Master Revival Sons of God Fellowship Ministry. Amen. And the author. Amen. Amen of the Hidden Secrets of the Mind of God book. This book is touching many lives and is revealing many secret spiritual revelation knowledge. Amen. Praise God of the mind of God that was hidden in the Holy Bible. If you would like to receive a copy of this powerful eye-open spiritual enlightenment book. Just send only $20 amen to P.O. Box 1331 Allerton, Illinois 62207. Amen. Praise God. This book is available only in paperback. Amen. To our partners and friends, I, I personally uh, thank you for taking time out of your busy life to be with our ministry. If you need to contact us, please send all uh, concerns and prayer requests to our email address at Sons of God Fellowship 618 at gmail.com or to our post box 1331 Allenton, Illinois 62207. Amen. The purpose of our ministry from the first day we enter into this world, many have forgotten who they are. The purpose of this ministry is to help awaken the people to the natural state of being. I bid all us to come and enter into the hidden secrets. Amen. Revelation knowledge. Amen. Hidden in the word of God. If you have an open mind, not closed up, I can guarantee, I can guarantee you will not leave this website or this place, amen, the same way you came, amen, praise God. The title of my message today is Rising from the Dead, amen, Rising from the Dead, don't forget that, Rising from the Dead, praise God, praise God, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, Resurrection, praise God. Amen. Resurrection. What does the word resurrection mean? Amen. Praise God. What does the word resurrection mean? Praise God. Resurrection. Praise God. How many you know that this past Sunday, amen, we had resurrection, a service, amen. Praise God. We had a good time. Amen. Praise God. And I like to share this resurrection hour. Amen. Because it's not just a day for one thing. Amen. It's a lifestyle. Amen. Praise God. I'm happy to be with everybody that's here with us on today. Amen. You that's in person and you that, amen, by the way, online. Amen. Praise God on the internet. Praise God, Facebook, YouTube, amen, Instagram, amen, TV. We just thank God for all of you that showed up to be with the Master Revival, Sons of God Fellowship Ministry, Resurrection, the act, the acting of faith. What is resurrection? The acting of facts. If, excuse me, facts. If we resurrecting or being 
resurrected. Amen. Praise God. The, act, the action of fact, if we are resurrecting, are being resurrected. Rising from the dead. I like that. Rising from the dead. Oh, rest, restoration to life. Raising from the dead. Uh, returning from the dead. That's what resurrection means. Amen. In the natural form. Amen. Praise God. I want everybody to notice the word dead. Amen. Dead. Look at the word dead. Amen. Resurrection. Amen. Resurrection. Let's look at this word. Amen. To life. Raising from the dead. I hope everybody can see the screen. You that on YouTube and different places here. Uh, I know that you that are here with us uh, today. Amen. In our meeting here. I know that you can see it. Amen. Amen. To life. Raising from the dead. Returning from the dead. Don't forget that. Returning from the dead. Ret Boy, I tell you that word, dead. Amen. Because see, there is a mystery in the word dead. Let's go to Matthew 13. I'm not going to be long. I'm not going to be long. Amen. Matthew 13 and 9. Amen. 13 and 9. Who hate a ear? Now look what he said now. He that has an ear, amen, an ear, ears, let's get that right, ears to hear. Now I found out that Revelation, and when I'm talking about the book of Revelation, I'm not talking about the book of Revelation, when I'm talking about Revelation knowledge, I want everybody to understand that I am not talking about the book of Revelation. I'm talking about things that are hidden in the word of God. Things that are have supernatural meaning. Things that fall beyond the understanding of man. Amen. Revealing truth. Revealing something that is hidden, I call it. Or something that is a secret. Amen. Mystery. That's what we're talking about today. Resurrection, the mystery and resurrection. Amen. Who hate heroes to hear it? Amen. Everybody don't have heroes. I found that out. Only those that have a ear to hear. How do you know that everybody don't have a ear to hear revelation? Amen. You have to have an ear. Amen. If we're going to receive revelation knowledge, we have to have an ear to hear it. Amen? And I have found out that there are many that don't have ears to hear. Hear what? Revelation. Resurrection. Amen. The resurrection. Praise God. Pray raising from the dead. Amen. Praise God. Let him hear. Now look what he said. If you will let us look at the statement. Let's look at this statement. Praise God. This statement, glory to God, this statement, praise God, amen, raising from the dead, look at that word dead, raising from the dead, praise God, what does that mean? The dead, brought back to life, don't forget that, brought back to life, amen, dead, brought back to life. Now in the spirit realm, words takes on new meaning. Resurrection. The dead brought back to life. There's a revelation in dead and there's a revelation in life. Amen? Dead nature. Look at this. Natural soul. Dead. Let's look at dead natural soul. Number one. No longer alive. Number two, deceased. Number three, no more. Look at this. Four, pass away. Five, the last one, loss. Amen. Natural soul. Amen. This natural soul now. Dead, natural soul. 
Amen. Number one means no longer alive. Two, deceits. Three, no more. Four, passed away. And five, lost. Amen. Dead, spiritually. Let's look at this word dead, spiritually. Amen. Spiritual. One, to sleep. Amen. To sleep. If you're dead spiritually, you're asleep. To, to be asleep, what do you mean to be asleep? Is to be not aware of your surrounding. Uh, in the natural, it means to be not aware. So in the spirit realm, not a world, uh, not a world of what's going on in the spirit realm. What's going on in this society, in the spirit realm. God is speaking so much unto us, but who are living? Amen. God, he's talking. The teacher is teaching. The teacher is teaching, but who are listening? Amen. It is important, amen, for the teacher, for the kids are uh, to listen. If the children of God, if we do not listen, amen, I mean listen not with this physical ear. I'm talking about really listen with this inner ear. Amen. God is speaking, but who is listening? Amen. The, amen. The teacher cannot appear until the class is ready to receive. Are you ready to receive, said the Holy Spirit? Are you ready to uh, to to, to uh, accept uh, uh, the, the depths and the revelation, knowledge of God, what God have for us that is freely given to us according to 1 Corinthians 2, 1 through 14? Are you ready to receive those things of the spirit realm? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Number two. Dead. Let's go back to dead. Number two, to be carnal minded. Amen. Dead is to be carnal minded. Amen. Look at the screen. Uh, three, to be lost. Dead in the spirit realm means to be lost. Amen. Don't forget that. Praise God. Ephesians 5 and 14. Let's go to Ephesians 5 and 14. Praise God. Wherefore, he said, awaken. Look at that now. Look at this word, awaken. That means to come alive. Amen. To be a world. Amen. To, amen. Down that sleeping. Uh oh. There's a word sleep. There's a revelation in sleep. Sleep it. And there's a revelation in awake. Amen. Awake. Down that sleeping. And Arise, what? Arise, oh, arise from the what? Dead. There it is, dead. And Christ shall give thee what? Life, revelation and life. Life, amen. Somebody said life is having a lot of money. Amen, that's not life. Somebody said life and having a lot of money in different banks and having a brand new car and having all these different jewels and riches and said that's life. No, 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 no. That's man's life. Amen. But life in the spirit realm is coming up out of the thinking of man out of this corner of mind and walking in the realm of the spirit man. 